Hello everyone, this is Veronica Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a BB craft craft with me. So um, I recently, well, I was contacted a while ago and I uploaded my product opening a while ago. I will link that in the description below. But um, today we're gonna make some flowers and I picked up um, these dies from them. And um, they're very sharp, you guys. They cut the paper very well. And what I'm using is the smaller circle. So um, you want to uh, cut 12 oh. circles with them. So that's what I did right here. And today we're going to make these adorable winter flowers or Christmas flowers. I'm using the Sugar Blush paper um, from last year. I haven't went to Michael's to pick up the um, new paper that they came out with similar to the Sugar Blush. And then um, um, we're also going to use the BB Craft sprays and we're going to use the white. I did use white and also the pink and by mistake I used peach. So a peach one creeped in there. So we have a peach one and I'm using this um, hmm, diamond dust that my friend Diane Crafting with Fury gifted me in a swap. And this diamond dust is works wonders. <laughs> So thank you for that, Diane. So let's get started, you guys. We're gonna need a hot glue and a whole p um, a paper punch. This one right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is cut, um, get a white strip of cardstock and use it as the backing for your flower. So here it is right here. And um, what I usually do also is I grab a coal and to um, fold. So I picked these up from BB Craft as well and we will be using them soon. And so what I do is I roll the little um, circles like so to make the petals of the flowers. So um, I will go ahead and do all of those right now. Yeah, Diane uses this glitter dust on everything, so I figured oh, I need to make some flowers just like Love Pink Dragonflies and um, Miss Evelie do because ugh, their flowers are so beautiful. So just add some glue like so, and then we're just going to add it to the paper like this. And then we're going to put five petals around this circle and then you're gonna overlap it a little bit and you'll see right now and see how I overlapped it just a tad bit like so so just keep going like that but add only five They're already coming out so cute. I can already feel the sturdiness. I can already see it come together. Oh, and you're gonna also need a paper punch, a very small one from, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and as you can see the little hole, let's see if you can see it. You see how small that is? You're gonna need a really a small one similar to that. So we already have four here. The last one is gonna go on. Okay, so now the next row is going to be four, and we're gonna add them to um, the side of the flower. So like, here's the petal and it goes over and um, where it goes in right here, that's where we're gonna add an extra petal right there. So again, we're gonna only use four, and then the last one is gonna be three. So 
one right there. This one's moving a little. <laughs> you gotta be careful because if you put it over the other petal, uh, uh, the, the, the one that has five rows, if you put it right over it, you're not gonna see that petal. So you need to put it kind of to the side so it could look like a flower. See, just need one more right here. And it's turning out like a flower. You can see it already. Okay, so now we're gonna do the last row, which is three, only three of them. And so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add one there, one here, and one here. So, like so. That's where it's gonna go. A little bit diagonal. Just so you could see all the petals underneath it. So these need to be shown. So I'm just gonna add glue right here. And then this one's gonna go right here. You can even use your tool to press down. Okay, the last one. So now we're gonna use this hole puncher and we're just gonna put it right in and you're gonna to wanna to find a spot that's thinner. So I think this part right here is and then just stick it in like so. And snip and you're gonna to wanna to snip two little holes right next to each other like so. And then if you have a, a piercer or some sharp scissors, you're going to stick your scissors right through. And I think I cut this a little bit too thick. Okay, so there's the hole right there. So now we're going to get our sprays out. And I really like how the white looks for some reason. Just looks more snowy, more just looks Christmassy. And that's the look I'm going for. I'm gonna do three. These other ones are just two strings of spray, but since this hole's larger, I'm gonna do three. And so what we do is fold them in half. and then stick them through. So that's what it looks like, and then just stick it through. You could also twist it. I did twist some of them, and just stick it right through. And sometimes you're gonna have trouble, which is fine. Just grab um, any sharp tool and help it along. So as you can see it coming out, I'm gonna use my tweezers by EK. Yay, we did it. So now just pull the sprays through. Now I have to find the one. 
I gotta find the one. The one that's sticking out. The oddball. There it is. Look how cute that looks with um, an extra one. So now I'm just gonna get my um, silicone mat out that I picked up from Amazon. Put some glue right here and then just lay it here on the silicone mat. And it just helps the glue flatten a little. And um, if you'd like, you can also put a backing. So there it is right there. You could snip off the excess. And then if you want, you can add a backing, like I said, with um, your paper punch. Or you could use the, um, the dies as well, and it would have a really nice, clean border and stitching on the back. But since I'm not using these for to show the backing, I'm, they're gonna be covered, so I'm fine with this. So now, this is the flower, and all we have to do is just curl the petal. So there's the flower right there. So let me get one similar. So now we're gonna add the glitter. Let me get a darker. The diamond dust, we're gonna add the diamond dust. And you can pick this up at um, Amazon. Thanks to Diane, she showed me where. Let me get a scrap piece of paper. Okay, so here it is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need hot glue. So grab your hot glue gun, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna add glue to the edges, like so. And then grab your diamond dust and just sprinkle it on. And like that. So that's how it looks. And so just keep doing it. Each petal, a coat, give it a coat of glue. And then sprinkle some of that diamond dust on. Fairy dust, I like to call it. <laughs> And you're gonna get stuff like this because the hot glue has strings and the glitter will stick to them. Okay, so we're back and this is what it looks like and i'm going to do the last petal right here with you and so just add some hot glue to the edge of the petal and sprinkle some of this diamond dust and just shake the excess off so that's what it looks like you guys look how cute I love these Christmas flowers. Love them so much. They sparkle. They look so pretty. I love them. So that's the video for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that and will make your own Christmas flowers for this season. I'm starting to get ready to um, build my Christmas stash and I will be showing you that very soon. And hopefully you enjoy this, you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.